Hello everyone and welcome back to the workshop. I've always been a big proponent of these little mini lathes, but it is undeniable that they do lack some features that you would find on larger, more expensive lathes in a bid to keep the cost down. Most notably, a carriage lock is not included on these lathes. For facing small stock, this isn't necessarily an issue, but for larger parts, it really becomes necessary to have one. And as well as that, if you want to use the fine dial on the top slide, a carriage lock is absolutely necessary. Up until now, my method to keep the carriage locked was to simply disengage the lead screw and engage the half nut. This is better than nothing, but the small movements in the carriage still show up. The first step in this modification is knowing what type of carriage you have. Some carriages will have a metal overhang that extends the full depth of the carriage, and others, like my Sieg C3, will have this odd cutout. For those with the former, you can simply drill a hole through the carriage, but for others like me, we're going to need to add some stock here before we can continue. The first thing we need to do is take off the carriage and remove the hand wheel to make working on it easier. In a perfect world, I would have a piece of metal that fits in the gap, but this 12mm square bit of stock from the local hardware store will easily work. To help the metal fit, we need to file the sides of the carriage, and in fact they weren't even at right angles anyway, so we do need to fix this. I filed the slot and the insert to be slightly concave, so when the carriage is locked, they will actually wedge tightly. Because I used 12mm bar stock, the locking bolt risks hitting the grub screws, so a little recess is filed down to stop this happening. Next we can create the T-slot nut. If you have a mill, this process will be a lot quicker, but the same results can be achieved by hand.
The overall width of the T-slot nut is not critical, but the width at the top must be close to the width of the spacing between the lathe bed, or it risks twisting around when the carriage is moved. And I think we can call that a success. The carriage lock upgrade was a very quick upgrade to do, and I can say it is quite useful to have. And with that, thank you very much for watching.